Hey, welcome back for a product review on Super Clean. So if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If it's your first time here, then welcome. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, so everything up front on the table, Super Clean sent me these products to test and review. I did not buy them myself, but I did get them for free. So it's considered a paid product endorsement. I did get something out of the deal. I got some Super Clean. So what we're going to do today, I've devised a few tests. Uh, we're going to have my ultrasonic cleaner here now super clean says it works best in cold so we're going to try it in cold water and i'm not going to turn the heater on on this i have a aluminum lever here i know a lot of us rock in aluminum bikes and we want to know what it's going to do to aluminum so i'm going to dilute this down it's real sketchy on their instructions on how to dilute for aluminum i saw stainless and everything else i believe it was about eight parts water to one part super clean so that's what we're going to go with on this it's got a little grunge on it and i'm going to see if it cleans it up if it discolors it i'm going to run it for about 20 minutes at room temperature so we'll see what that does over here i have ooh, yeah a two-stroke cylinder and it is grungy like two strokes like to get um, you see here in this little video yeah I wasn't kidding this sucker is really grungy so we're gonna spray it on I'm not going to use a towel or anything we're just going to use straight up water pressure blast it off let it air dry and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards and we'll see if uh, super clean cleaned it didn't clean it now what I'm going to use for this though is the foam this is your straight up spray this is your foam I like the foam it seems to cling a little better to hold on a little better now in their SDS sheets they do claim a proprietary um, trade secret for their surfactant blend but hey that's that's on them as long as it works is what we care about right so we're going to use this for the two-stroke cylinder I'm going to use regular super clean for everything else. They come in 100% strength regardless of the super clean product that you get. So be careful of that. If you want to use something at half strength or less, then maybe the foam's not quite what you're looking for. This is grungy and nasty, so I'm going to spray it with the foam. Depending on how well the foam stays, I might retreat it with the foam just to try and get it clean because I like clean things. And then, speaking of clean things, I have the dirtiest bike in my stable right now is my GT. My tried and trusty GT is disgustingly filthy. It's got dirt on it. It's got crud and whatever. But what are we looking for? Because this is a degreaser. This isn't a demutter. Will it clean the mud off? Well, yeah. I mean, if I wash the bike in it and all. But again, I don't like to use harsh cleaners on painted surfaces. So we're going to avoid that completely. And I have... You guessed it, chain brush. So this goes on your chain. You fill a solution in there. You run your chain through, and it's supposed to clean your chain. So if you don't have this, it'll kind of do the same thing. As if you scrub it, spray it on, scrub it. So we're going to use this. I'm going to use it at full strength on it. So we'll see what that does. Because if you look at this chain over here, Yeah, that's just gross. That ain't doing anybody any favors. So I need to get that chain clean. I need to get the whole bike clean, really. But I need to get that chain clean. And then I can uh, see how it turns out with the super clean before I even uh, attempt to put some more oil on it. Because your chain is your lifeblood of your bike. If the chain's broke, you ain't going anywhere. You just be a fancy scooter at that point. So let's get outside and let's get into this cleaning. All right, so we're outside. I got the GT set up, it's ready to go, got the chain cleaner attached already, I got my foaming cleaner, 
are we gonna hit up this little nasty bugger here? So let's have at this. As she foams up nice. Try and get it in all the little nooks and crannies here. So that's soaking. We're gonna get to this. Let's have at it. Super clean for you old timers like me was formerly known as Castrol Super Clean. But it was sold off and it's a small company based in the St. Paul, Minnesota area. And their products are made in the USA. All products are sold at full strength. Now there's only been one formulation change fairly recently and that was because, well, California. So otherwise the product has stayed fairly as effective as it's ever been. And if you're ever used to using the Super Clean, you'll be really pleased with this, I think. All right, so as we look at the chain here, you can get right in there and see the only thing on there is just some dirty water. I'm gonna rinse that off Why? rinse the bike off. She did a real nice job. Got her super good and clean. Hence the name, super clean, I guess. I'm gonna rinse this off, take another look at it. Oh yeah. That came out nice and clean. As soon as she's dry, I'll be ready for some chain lube on there. So I've given this cylinder two good soaking so far, just in the time it took us to do the chain on there. I'm gonna hit it once more, put the bike and everything up, come back, and we'll wash her down. So we're back. Our dirty deeds have been done dirt cheap. So the cylinder, check this out here. Still a little grimy there. But man, what a difference it makes. That whole ledge full of junk and oil and crud and this it would have all dripped up this way because the cylinder's upside down yeah so she came out real nice uh that little bit of smooch left there you could easily have uh, cleaned that up with another brush or maybe another treatment i liked how as it sat you could see it just kind of emulsifying and breaking down the grease that was on there i thought that did a phenomenal job so for Bicycle purposes, you got to clean your bearings or anything like that. I think that's going to be great. If it can clean off burnt on, two stroke sludge, it's going to get your bearings clean. Um, the chain cleaner did a great job. The super clean was phenomenal. It didn't mess up the chain cleaner at all, had no effect on the plastic. And I ran it at 100% strength. Let's go see what we got cooking in the pot. This was run at a 8 to 1 dilution of super clean to water. That's so 8 parts of water, 1 part of super clean. So I've barely even touched this bottle and I've got a clean chain, really clean lever. Uh, this still mostly there and that's cleaned up nicely. So the products seem to go a long way. You get a lot of bang for your buck. Now on the lever here, this is a bare aluminum. And well, you know what? At eight to one, it's not as shiny as it used to be, that's for sure. So maybe not use it on bare aluminum or where it's gonna sit, cause it can discolor it. Is it going to harm the metal? Maybe if you really let it sit, who knows? I mean, anything could really harm metal. If you let it sit, water could, you know? But uh, for, as far as aluminum goes, I think I'd hold off on using it on bare aluminum. 
at least any type of a soaking application like that. Will it work on carburetors and all? I'm sure it will. I've used products like Purple Power to clean my carburetors. It's probably going to stain them just like this did at an 8 to 1 dilution. But I'll tell you what, as effective as these products have been, I'm very happy with them. I look forward to adding them to my garage here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. You know, you got to like and subscribe. It helps me out, helps you out, the viewer. If you're subscribed, you get updated with all the videos that I pushed out. You get a little update. Uh, hit that bell icon. But above all, give me that thumbs up. And any comments you have, any suggestions, anything you'd like to see from my channel, please leave it in the comment section below. And by all means, click that show me more. And check me out on Instagram and everywhere else. Have fun, stay safe, and keep riding.